Hey, here's one quick cursor tip that you can use to get better outputs from cursor. Make sure you're using a local development server uh, and have all of your migrations running locally. And the reason why you want to do this is that it obviously has got best practices built in. But as well as that, we can also combine it with a shell script so that I can generate both Pydantic types and also Superbase TypeScript types directly from my local database. So now I can just go down here, type generate entities. Uh, and then this will basically, if I show you in the client, it will create a folder in types and that will have all of my database, which is now strongly typed. Now, why is this useful? Well, let's say we, example, we'll load up Composer on the right hand side. Then we can add this types file and I can say, I want you to generate some server actions. Um, and make these really robust. And we could also add the server actions folder that we already have. So if you go at actions, and then now we can use the database types directly to then generate those server actions. And then what's really nice about this is if you change your types, we could then go and rerun that script again. And we could basically rerun that and generate the types this types file would then be remade. So don't save anything extra inside of your types.ts file. Um, but then the beauty of this is that you can see we're easily able to create different server actions uh, and these are rooted in grounded types. The inputs are exactly what the database is expecting to take in. So now we've got these new files that we could then have a look at and you can see these are the server actions that we've got. So yeah, really quick tip, always use database types when you're working with cursor.